Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make the cyber filters. And an example of what a cyber filter is, is this. This filter, when I posted it, did really, really well. And a lot of you guys actually said that you wanted a tutorial on it. So of course, I'm gonna give you what you want. And this video might be a little bit of a longer one because the process is pretty long but I'm gonna try to explain it as well as possible so nobody is confused by anything. But before we get started, I would like to thank you guys for all the support on my channel. I actually just got monetized recently, so that's why you saw an ad in the beginning of the video. Um, and if you didn't, uh, well, you're lucky. But yeah, I really, really do appreciate all of the love and support, and I will be cranking out a lot of content for y'all. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you also hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And leave a like on this video and comment below any other filter tutorials you would like to see. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, and make sure you use my filters on Snapchat and Instagram. But yeah, I don't want to hold y'all for too long, so let's go ahead and get right on into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop, actually, and the reason being is we're going to have to make the black, like, fish eye kind of look for the filter, and how we do that is we use Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use any other like drawing app, you just have to make sure you can erase a circle inside of like a black image. Um, you, and it'll make sense once you see what I'm talking about. And once you have Photoshop open, what you're gonna wanna do is press create new. And then um, I don't really set a certain like dimension for what the photo is, but I do make sure to change the background content to transparent so that we don't have any color in the background. And then you can open that up and then it'll look like this little checkerboard print. And what you're gonna want to do first is go over to this little paintbrush tool right here and make sure the color is selected on black. And the paintbrush is gonna be really, really small. So you're gonna go up here in the corner and just increase the size all the way because we just need it black. So it's gonna look like that. And then once you have it all colored in black, what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the eraser over here and just have it at about 400, but you wanna make sure you have the hardness turned down to about 45 to 50, so that it isn't like all the way harsh. And then you're just going to um, erase like a little circle in the middle, just like this. So it gives it that kind of like empty hole effect. And then you're just gonna go to file, export, and quick export as PNG and make sure if you don't quick export it as PNG make sure you save it as a PNG because it's really really important that you have it as a PNG so that you can see through it on the filter. Now we're done with Photoshop so you can go ahead and close out Photoshop and then you can go ahead and open up Lens Studio and then once you have Lens Studio open you're just going to create a new project and then once your new project opens up what you're going to want to do is go down to the resources panel and then press the little plus and then add from files and then you're just going to open up your little um like black png that we made okay now that we have the black png in the filter what we're going to do now is move on to how to actually do the cyber effect now my cyber effect is different from a lot of other people's i do have a few filters that are cyber filters that kind of look similar to other people's but mine is mainly focused on body segmentation and like the actual shape of you and i'll show you how to do that now so what you're going to want to do is um press the little plus and then add in a screen image and then once you have the screen image open you're going to drag the device camera texture over to the texture and it's going to look like this then you're gonna to want to change the material, press the little plus button and press unlit, and then you can press okay. And make sure you change the stretch mode to stretch so that it fills the whole screen. And then go over down to the resources panel and press the unlit material. And you're gonna to wanna to change the texture to device camera texture. And then what you're gonna to want to do is make sure you have the opacity texture um, checked off and then go back to the screen image and where it says blend mode um, and it says disabled you're gonna want to change that to normal and now you can see that we have the opacity texture option and you're gonna press that press the little plus and go to segmentation texture and press portrait background now go over to the resources panel press the portrait background segmentation and then press invert mask that way it's only looking at the shape of you. And then what you're gonna want to do is go back to the screen image. And how I get the little cyber effect is I stretch the image. So you can just stretch it out a little bit 
like that. And then stretch the other side out just like that as well. And then you're gonna go down here to blend mode and actually change that to add. And then once you hit add, it's gonna look a little crazy over here. So you're gonna want to go to the alpha section and turn it down just a little bit. And now if I go to the camera, you can see that it's like this like weird like stretch kind of added to it. And I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit more because I don't want it too harsh. But yeah, it looks like that. So then once you have all of that done, what you're gonna want to do next is add the zoom blur so it kind of looks fisheye. So you're gonna do that by going to the objects panel, pressing the plus, going to post effects, and then going to the zoom blur. And it's gonna automatically add the zoom blur up here, but we actually want it underneath the full frame region right here. So you're just gonna click and drag that on top and then it's gonna add it down here. Then you wanna click this little blue dot and make sure that that blue dot is green so that it's on the orthographic camera. And then once you have that done, you can go down to the zoom blur and affect how like strong you want the blur because it can, it can look a little crazy, but I'm gonna keep it about right there. And then what you're gonna do after that is add the actual black picture onto the filter. You do that by going to the objects panel and then go to screen image again. And if it does this, cause my computer sometimes does that, I don't know why, you can just click the little logo right here and it brings you to the center of the image and then you can just zoom out. But then you're gonna add the fish eye black over into the inspector panel and go underneath texture. And now you see that there's the picture that we just made and it has a little hole. I'm gonna turn mine just for efficiency. And then you can just stretch it over the camera. And depending on how big or how small you made it, you might have to zoom out. And you can do this however big or small you want it. And usually for this, I turn off the little magnet up here so that it doesn't try to like click in a certain position. So I'm gonna leave that right there. And now over here, you can see it kind of looks like um, like the fisheye camera lens is on your phone or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that it looks like this. This is what it looks like. Kind of cool. And then once you are done with that, you are actually done with the filter. You can always go in and add like a LUT or a color correction over the filter so you can add whatever color you want. And you can also add your subscribe text and any other post effects that you would like for your filter to have. And then once you have all of that saved, go to the project info, name it whatever you want and add whatever icon you want and then apply that and then you can publish your lens and upload it to Snapchat. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you at all, please comment down below and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I have a lot of filter tutorials in the works, so make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And if there's a certain tutorial or a certain filter that you would like for me to recreate and show you how to do it, comment that down below too. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Make sure you use my filters on Snapchat and Instagram. On Snapchat, you can just search on my name and they'll all pop up. And on Instagram, you can click that little face button on my profile and all my filters will pop up. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials because I'm sure there's something in any of those that will help you. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.